It's me Sangi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys uh, the in and around areas of my house. Actually, I think few weeks ago, I got this comment on my YouTube. So this person told me to make a video of my house garden. Okay. It's so like sunny. It's not like sunny, but it's kind of humid you know I mean obviously like it's June right so I'm just going to tie my hair and yeah let's get started with this video if you come to this side this little green plants that you're seeing out here these are actually the local dully my mom she just planted them last time so yeah, they are little babies right now, so they are growing and right next to it you can see some corn plants. So maybe in 10-15 days we'll see some corns growing in them. And now let's move down here. This climber like plant that you're seeing this is actually pumpkin plant so after a few days uh, maybe after a few months also I'm not really sure I think we can see some pumpkins but right now we don't have any out here so this is what pumpkin plants look pumpkin plant looks like if you guys didn't know and right next to the pumpkin plant we have this uh, cucumber plant so yeah cucumber plants needs like lots of this um, extra branches and shafts and this uh, extra woods in which they can you know like uh, climb and grow so this is what the cucumber plant looks like from down here so yeah and if you move like you know to the right side this is like guys this is not a garden this is basically a field we have a field not a garden so, oh my oh my gosh okay so here we have our cardamom yes yeah, so this is the cardamom field you can see like there's a i think there's nearly uh, 5200 cardamom plants out here and now let's get let's go deep inside that and if you're wondering what this plant is this is like the orange tree and I'm not, I'm not really sure why this is here but yeah guys I am inside the cardamom field and you can see like how big it is <sighs> oh my god I am going to sweat a lot guys please give this video a big like and share this video and comment down because I'm putting so much effort to make this video for you guys <laughs> okay now let's see here what we have down here so guys yeah this is what the cardamom looks like it actually grows here and my mom told me that by the month of August they ripen but right now like we cannot touch them and here we have a hibiscus plant okay. where do I go where do I go and here we have another baby orange tree here's a baby orange tree So if you look from here, the scenario looks something like this. See guys, lots and lots of green out there. And 
slightly you can even see my houses up there so yeah this is our little cardamom field so guys I'm standing next to this pretty guava tree but I don't know why my mom cut its branches I still remember when I was a child like every time I had a fight with my mom or anybody you know I would just come down here and this tree was like it had a very uh, big branch and I would just climb into this tree and I would just sit there for a while and if I got hungry I would pluck the guavas from the tree and eat those guavas so this guava tree is my childhood friend who uh, has been with me during my hard times yes guys but now it's not that pretty and if you're wondering what these bamboos are doing here actually just above it this thing that you see this climber like thing this green this is the squash plant squash we call it iskus in Nepali so yes this is iskus go boat and again like you know it also requires some uh, support to grow na? so you guys can see that there is another cardamom plant here and again like that's not the only cardamom field my mom has planted cardamom like almost in every vacant area this is the another section of the cardamom plant and right next to the cardamom plant you can see this big tree so this tree is the pear tree or the local naspati or in Hindi what people call as Nashpati so yeah I think it's in season now and we can see like small small uh, Nashpati growing so yeah the view from here it looks something like this out here I'm going to show you we have some beans here these are not French beans these are, I don't know what you call them in English, but in Nepali it is called as QCV. So these are beans, but of a different kind. So QCV. If anybody knows the English name of this, then please let me know. So yeah, this is all planted by my mom in this uh, little sack. So its plant looks something like this out here also have some little gusibi and there's like so many of them out here it's like one two three four five six and nearly 10 15 sacks of this gusibi and then we have like another tree or another fruit tree so this is the peach tree we call this as aru in Nepali but these are like just growing right now actually a few weeks ago we already ate like the first harvest or like the first grown fruit and I think this is like the second fruit that is growing actually it was on that tree it was all red and I if I get the picture I'll try to share it so we finished that and I think in this tree they are still growing so excited to eat them as well now if we move here we don't have a way here and i'm too lazy to remove this plant so i'm just going to cross them whatever okay another bag of all the liquor sunny so yeah this is all the liquor sunny they are growing so please grow well out here like this is not garden but we have some extra 
wood logs that we need during the winters to light fire to especially during losu okay so we also have tomato plant i don't have much idea guys because i don't usually come out here so your tomato abo kaile paksa la hai tomato abo phaldai chha okay guys so that was it for our like little garden or basically a field <laughs> so yeah that's all my mom's hard work and yes because of her hard work we get to eat some fresh vegetables and fruits right from our own garden so yeah really blessed about that you saw like the baby dalle plants and when they grow they look something like this so here you can see this little uh dalle khorsani which is very spicy they are growing and when they turn red in color we get to know that they are they are like ripened oh my god the sun like even if the cloud is like covering the sun it's so humid so i'm just going to clean up a little bit and come i'll show you guys how i clean up guys just look how much waste i collected